Right. If you put it in perspective of today, Roddy Allison was coming out of high school, he'd be a five-star recruit. He was recruited by everybody, everybody, right? He chose to come to Texas Tech. He's the man. Rodney Allison, let's give it up. When I was here, I didn't appreciate what Texas Tech did for me. I didn't appreciate what it, done, what it, what, what it helped me achieve in my life, but it gave me everything. I mean, when you think about it, and I hope a lot of you will feel like this in 40 years, 30 years, that this school gave me so much, gave me an opportunity to be successful in life. And I wanted one day to be able to come back here and give something back to Texas Tech. Because this is a great school, guys. I'm just telling you. You'll, you won't find any greater people in the world than right here. And this is a great school, and I love this double T more than anything. And I will do anything. I'll fight, I'll scratch, I'll scrape with anybody to the bend it, and I will do that. I'll do it every single day. Being West Texas Tough means no matter what's going on, we're coming out there, we're playing as hard as we can, as fast as we can. It means that this is the toughest area in the state of Texas. It means that this is one of the toughest areas in the nation because it's Texas tough. objectives for the D-line and fall camp here is to be as physical as possible. So when I look at what I want to get out of this fall camp is to be the brand, is to be the toughest, hardest working, most competitive team in the country. The expectation that Coach Fish had for the line is for us to be the best of the best. They want to be coached and they want to be coached hard. They want to be coached to, to be great. He's going to push us hard, and we just got to accept the coach, and we just got to live up to it. We understand that he is the best defensive line coach in the world, and he got the best players, and he got everything that he needs as far as this unit to be to where we could be at the top of the top. Coach Fitch always reminds us that it starts with us. We're the first line of defense. Just having that mindset of, I'm going to dominate you every play, no matter what the conditions are, what's going on. We are going to be a relentless group a really physical group. It's been quoted that, you know, we didn't sign with you, you signed with us. It's always a competition between me and Bradford. I feel like uh, if he gets a sack, I have to get a sack. Or if he gets a TFL, I have to get a TFL. Like, it's always back and forth. We just want to double up on everything and just continue to be that unit and be that duo that the fans are expecting us to be. They're expecting us to dominate up front. Last year was our best season yet, putting everything together, but we just have so much more that we can accomplish. We're working towards a Big 12 championship, and the city of Lubbock deserves that. That's enough motivation right there that I need to just keep me going. Watch how high that water rise as he sits in it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I feel good, my boy. It is a mandatory after every day of camp to get in the, co the cold tub. That's the only way I made it through all these camps. Stop lying, bro. Stop lying to the people. Ask him, ask him that question. Trying to sound like that you're ask this that intelligent question. young man that's so I'm, more, I'm more intelligent than you is. I got, don't I got more degrees than no, you? No, you don't. What is one thing I like about Tony Bradford? Junior, right? Is it Junior? Uh, I'm not sure. You know, Tony has a great personality, man. Um, he's really authentic with the community. Um, anytime you see him, he's helping someone. Uh, great guy, great community guy. How many times I helped you in life? I can probably count on one hand. That's probably just from today. Nah, 
been the longest 15 minutes of my life. <laughs> Listen, Tony, we got five more minutes or four minutes. Bro, how you go from six to five? Right, we bro. got four minutes, bro. Yo, you said six minutes, seven minutes ago. Defensively, I mean, we, we've got some dudes, man, and, and Coach Deruder and those guys do a tremendous job defensively. It's a challenge for us every day, you know, going through spring ball and fall camp against those guys because of, of, of how good of a job they do. I mean, I think that's all that does is help us, you know, the, the old saying, iron sharpens iron. You know, everybody has high expectations on us now, right? So it's on us to meet those expectations. The biggest thing that we're going to work on is the fact that we're going to get more mean and nasty when it comes to playing dominant offensive line. He set the expectation that we are going to be the best unit in the country. And we have that expectation on ourselves as well. You look in that interior O-line, you've got some grown men that are ready to go play for the Red Raiders. As an offensive lineman, you don't want to be the reason why a good play call or a good scheme doesn't work. You know, it's almost expected to uh, win your one-on-one -on -one reps. You're talking about the experience and, and the maturity of those guys coming back. They're going to set that picket fence around Tyler, but also open up the holes for, for Todd Brooks. What better way to compete and see how ready you are for the season than to go against the best guys in the conference, which is our offense. Heading to uh, scrimmage number one. People say I don't, or my wife says I don't drink enough water. And so I always start off with a water bottle, um, you know, and then uh, really just a little bit of music, uh, just trying to start getting ready for uh, the day. I got to, I got to sleep in a little bit today. I'm usually in the office about five, 5.15, but since we're uh, not scrimmaging, uh, until we'll really get started about 11.30. The guys got to sleep in a little bit, and so I took advantage of it too. It's gonna be a great day. Our scrimmages are so important that you're getting that live contact. We're going to get it's a, a really good offense. The offense is going against a really good defense. I do believe iron sharpens iron. I mean, you've got to get after each other to prepare yourself to go play game one. Get better today. Here we go, PTF on three. One, two, three. PTF. I think it's just time we got a we got a really exciting football team, really really exciting football team, and I think they know it, and I think they know it. Football is an event, man. It's just so incredible, and we get to play it one time a week. The expectations are very very high for us, and it's time to go get it done. Here he goes, bro. He already get all the love and attention, bro. No. Like, he already get all the love no. and attention because he's the quarterback. So. No. Like, now he's going to come over here and interrupt my thing. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Can you go pick up your no, dog, man? No, 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 no. He dropped his son off at your house? Yeah. That, I've yeah, been that, watching yeah. him for hours, bro. They can turn up the house. Okay, bet. I'll get him. Yeah. His dog not trained. Hush up. Uh -uh. They did put it on a barbecue pit. Can you barbecue the cookie? Ready? Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of The Brand. I'm Tony Bradford Jr. This is my assistant, Jalen Hutchins, and we love y'all. Wreck them. No. They always get movie time. They always get movie time. They always get some movie time. They ain't superstars. You stink. <laughs>